The Samkhya system, which follows Prakriti, Parinamavada, describes origination and evolution through its theory of Satkaryavada Sanskrit, Satkaryavada which is the theory of causation. According to this theory the effect is existent in the cause, the original cause of everything that is perceived is Prakriti. <inaudible> Overview Satkaryavada is the Samkhya theory of the pre-existent effect, which states that the effect already exists in its material cause and therefore, nothing new is brought into existence or produced in the process of creation. This theory, also associated with the Yoga school, is the systematic unfolding of Uttalaka Arunis substantialism and eternalism Sasadavada. Ishvara Krishna in his Samkhyakarika SL.9 gives five reasons why the effect has to pre-exist in its material cause, a what is not cannot be produced, b the effect requires a material cause, c not everything arises from everything, d the cause produces only what corresponds to its potential and e the effect has the nature of the cause. <laughs> Vedic roots During Vedic times, in seeking to determine the RTA or order underlying all phenomena, a postulation was made that change can be understood in terms of a potency inherent in these phenomena, that is, in the cause to produce the effect, this potency was termed svata own power. But later on, the reality of change itself came into question. However, the Upanishads and Samkhya, though differing on whether phenomenal change was an illusion or real, accepted Satkaryavada. Svada and Satkaryavada go beyond efficient causation to partake of nature of formal and material cause. Pratityasamutpada of the Buddhists implies a nonlinear kind of causality. The word Pakaya of Pakaya Namarupa literally means support, and this presents causation not in terms of unilateral power but in terms of relationship. The Buddhists consider all modes of relation to have casual significance. Topic. Vedanta explanation From Chandogya Upanishad 3.19 and Taittiriya Upanishad 2.7, it appears that being emerged from the pregnant and indifferentiated chaos known as Azat non-being but the Brahmanas describe creation as the transformation of Sat referred to as the impersonal abstract reality Taittiriya Upanishad 2, I, or as the personal creator Prasna Upanishad I.4, Satkaryavada envisages creation as Paranama, Vikara modification of Brahman Brahma Sutras 2, I.7 which orthodox Orthodox view is not accepted by the followers of Advaita Vedanta who place their belief in Vivartavada. The theory of superimposition, Gaudapada, advocating Ajativada, states that mithya false, unreal effect has a mithya origination, it is not a real origination. Therefore, Totakacharya, a disciple of Sankara, in Srutasarasamudaranam Sloka 151 states, even if one thinks that the world, beginning with the mind, does somehow originate according to either the prior existence or the non-existence of the effect, even then it is not real, for the Sruti has declared that it is unreal. According to Vedanta, Brahman, the ever-existing non-dual entity Sat but who is the eternal subject and not an object to be known, is the sole source of joy rasa. a non-entity cannot be a source of happiness. Brahman is the cause of creation. As Saguna Brahman or Ishvara, with his power of the beginningless Maya, he brings forth this creation which is also beginningless, controls and rules it as the Lord within. Maya is Prakirti composed of three gunas. Sankara extends Satkaryavada to state that creation is but manifestation of names and forms only, by transforming into becoming the indeterminate becomes determinate in association with Maya, otherwise the world is unreal. The acosmic approach shows creation to be a superimposition on Brahman, whereas according to the subjective approach, the phenomenal world of diversity is unreal, a mere dream. Sankara defends Satkaryavada against Asatkaryavada, but in the light of Vivartavada as distinguished from Paranamavada, he posits the infinite and eternal as the goal of human aspirations, distinguishing Paramartha and Vyavahara and agreeing that the former is timeless and the latter, fundamentally impermanent and insubstantial, differing though in their analysis of empirical things and causality. He states that the Sruti speaks of prarabdha from an empirical point of view, prarabdha is accepted for origination or birth to account for differences of beings etc., which difference cannot be otherwise produced. 
In the same context but opposing Sankara's viewpoint, Ramanuja, the proponent of Vishishtadvaita, in his Vedarthasangraha defines creation thus, Brahman whose body is formed by animate and inanimate beings, who in his gross form is divided by distinctions of names and forms, is presented in the effect, this disunited and gross state of Brahman is called creation. La underscore una equals the one and only via, birth mother inner voice, known information from her inner soul. One who can change the course of history after PASDT life attempts. Topic Samkhya delineation Satkaryavada is the Samkhya theory of the pre-existent effect, that the effect already exists in its material cause and therefore, nothing new is brought into existence or produced in the process of creation. This theory, also associated with the yoga school, is the systematic unfolding of Uttalaka Arunis Chandogya Upanishad v. I.4-5 substantialism and eternalism. Ishvara Krishna in his Samkhyakarika Sloka 9, Asadakarnad Upadana Grayanat Sarvasambhavabhavat Saktasya Sakyakarnat Karanabhavaka Satkaryam gives five reasons why the effect has to pre-exist in its material cause, a Asadkarnat, what is not cannot be produced, b Upadana Grayanat, the effect requires a material cause, c Sarvasambhavabhavat, not everything arises from everything, d Saktasya Sakyakarnat, the cause produces only what corresponds to its potential and e Karanabhavat, the effect has the nature of the cause. The followers of the Samkhya school hold that karya effect is sat existent even before karakavyapara causal operation renders avarbuddha manifest from tiroida unmanifest condition. The Samkhyas uphold parinama vada, that the cause is continuously transforming itself into effect. They advocate two eternal realities, prakriti and purusha. The five-fold reasoning for the inference of purusha are Samkhyakarika SL.10, Hetumad Anityamivapi Sakriyamankamasritam Lingam Savayavam Paritantram Vyaktam Viparitamavyaktam Prakriti and its evolutes all serve the purpose of the self which is consciousness. B. The self whose purpose is served by prakriti must be different from everything composed of the three gunas. C. Experiences suggest a transcendental synthetic unity of pure consciousness to coordinate all experiences for knowledge presupposes the existence of the self, d the physical universe needs a sentient purusha to experience it and e there is the desire to escape from prakriti Samkhyakarika SL.10. Opposition Asatkaryavada also called the Arambhavada or New Beginning. Against the Asatkaryavada view of causality accepted by the Naya and the Vaisheshikas, the Samkhyas aver that if the effect were something totally new, without prior existence in any form, then one would have to admit the production of existence from non-existence, which is not possible. But Sankara questions the Samkhya contention, he asks, if the effect actually pre-exists how can there be genuine change? References, <references>